Yeah, nice battle out there today. Obviously defensive oriented, no doubt. And um, I liked our team's presence on defense. I liked the fact that we uh, stuck with some things and did a pretty good job on Smith, who's just an excellent player and capable of big games. Um, not as good a job on McKinneth, but, uh, but certainly a great team defensive effort overall to hold them to 42. And um, Offensively, we weren't exactly uh, at the level or things that we'd like to do, and uh, that's a good learning lesson for us coming off Georgia Tech and coming into New York and learning how to perform in different arenas and different situations uh, relative to preparation and whatnot. So, uh, again, good stuff out there. Uh, Eat Elizabeth battled hard. Uh, Haley battled hard, and I thought Kalia Johnson was a big X factor. Um, like you said, just trying to get in a rhythm. I tried to go out and get a lot of rebounds early to really just get some momentum. Haley, you guys were down 11-10 early on, and like a 52 run sort of to take control of the game. Go talk about the defense. Just what was that? You guys anything different that stretch when switching the zone? What was the thing that got you guys on top? I think we were just more aggressive. I think. Um, the people that were out there were looking to trap and looking to run through for steals and things like that, and that kind of sparked us for a little bit. Probably the best stretch we played in the whole game was that, that little stretch there. Um, and it started because we were just, I think, just more aggressive. Can you both say just what it meant to you to play in that square garden? It, I mean, it's pretty, it's really unbelievable to have the opportunity. I think all of us, I think you could see a little bit of the jitters that we had early on. And, um, I mean, shooting some air balls and things like that. And you just, I mean, it's so cool. We'd walk down the hallway to our locker room and there's pictures of Elton John and John Lennon and Beyonce. So it's really cool. It's an honor. And I, I mean, I'm just our team, our whole team just is really happy that we had the chance. Yeah, definitely. I agree with Haley. Um, it's just an honor to even be in the Maggie Dixon Classic, and I know all of us read up on her before we got here. Um, so it's just a this is a really cool experience for us. Haley, how much experience did you have coming to this building? Come to the next games or? Yeah, I've been here two or three times. I got to play here once when I was like eight years old in the Girl Scout game. <laughs> <laughs> did she go to that night? <laughs> yeah, I did that. Yeah. I was a hundred percent. Haley, it's interesting, you mentioned three singers when you're talking about the photos are down there and not the past on them. This is the world's most famous arena, according to some people. Just, right. I mean, it's, it's pretty neat to play in this, this atmosphere. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, I think we our, our team is a, we have a pretty good sense of the history of the game. I know people like to watch NBA classics on our team. So we've, we know about the basketball history, too. If they don't put pictures of those up, I guess, near our locker room. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you go in and you see the jerseys hanging up there. and. Um, it's kind of, it kind of gives you the chills as a basketball player. Elizabeth, you played them last year in the tournament, knocked them out, and they were somewhat the same team that they had you know, somewhat similar. Just that help you be prepared for what they have and knowing Smith can shoot and that sort of thing? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's nice to be familiar with a team, and considering they had pretty much all the same people, we tried to um, see some of the good things that we did last year and also make some adjustments to help us now. Anything else with players? Elizabeth, Coach Benson, the offense wasn't quite where y'all wanted it to be, I think. Uh, what do you think about that and what, what needs to be done? Uh, well, I mean, we there were times where we weren't very patient. We took shots early in the shot clock, and we could have kept running our offense through. Um, I don't know, just little things like that that we, we know better and we can improve on. Great to ask. It was good. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it came out pretty flat defensively initially and traded baskets and, you know, give them credit for go doing a good job there and I just thought defensively we were uh, a step slow and not really focused on what we were supposed to be doing out there. So it was an interesting start that way. Joanne, the first part of the season is not for you guys now. You have to do exams in the next week or so. 8 now, right where you want to be or? Well, you know, I think, um, you know, I mean, obviously it's great to win ball games, and that's that's a good thing. Uh, but I think we're really, we've had a lot of variety, you know, in terms of what we've been exposed to. Uh, this was a good one for us, you know, playing Georgia Tech like we did, uh, having one practice to get ready to come up here and to come up here, and then to learn what that was like about distractions or, 
you know, being focused. So I think that the experiences we're going through are good ones for us to grow as a team. Uh, we still got a lot of growing to do. You know, we don't we don't have a dominant senior. I mean, Alex on our team, but she comes off the bench. Uh, so we're, we're pretty much a you know junior laden team, and we've got to learn those lessons. You know, as we as we can learn them. And um, so I think this is a good one because yes, it, it's the outcome. Well, you won the game, but there's a whole lot to work on. So some great film uh, to take a look at. Uh, we won't be doing that after finals. Duke finals are kind of serious stuff. <laughs> So we'll get back to that soon. What happens, uh, how happy were you, were you with your defense? You know, at times you were pretty good. I do think we got some good traps in there. In our quarter court defense, our half court, I don't know, but our full court was a little bit soft. I think uh, we didn't really do much there. But in the and the half court and quarter court, I thought we were better. Yeah. Okay. Coach, else? Oh. I just got one. Liston, you talking about I was really impressed in how tough a kid she seems to be. Yes, yeah. Trisha really, she's a tough competitor. You know, she comes from a family of a lot of basketball tradition and history, you know, with her father and her sisters all playing. And um, she, she's, she's special. She had, you know, she didn't do all the things that she could do, but yet those two threes were pretty big, I would say. Uh, answering the bell there, coming off the screens like she did. So, um, yeah, she's quite a competitor. And she's been rebounding more and doing many more other things uh, besides just shooting the basketball so well. Anything else?